invites the comrade governor, His Excellency, distinguished Senator Adams Aliu Oshomale, who represents Adon North Senatorial District in the National Assembly. He's used to dancing before talking. Can you give him a round of applause? Your Excellency, my brother and my friend, the governor of Edo State, Godwin Nogegase Obaseki, Your Excellency, the wife of the governor, Mrs. Betsy Obaseki, who is also a banker in her own right. Um, <coughs> I don't know where to start, but I see the man we can call the, the father, yes? Because like the governor said, you gave us the name, the heartbeat of the nation. Uh, Chief John Odige Oyego. I have succeeded him twice. First as a governor, and later as a chairman of my own party, or our own party. And then my dear friend and brother, Chief Lucky Benidio. In a do, we've had them in small packages. We have some very tall, and we also have some a little bigger. Um, you will allow me to acknowledge the speaker so that he might continue to speak. And of course, uh, the secretary to a uh, state government. You will allow me to just observe all the protocols, but I, my attention was drawn to the fact that uh, our big brother is very well represented here, the C GMD of uh, Dangote Group, the deputy governor and his wife, and uh, I'm not sure whether the chief judge of Edo State is here. Oh yeah, we are more like the same club. Let me thank you, Mr. Governor, for your very kind invitation to me to attend to this event. And I'd like to apologize for having to come late. I thought I would be able to make it yesterday. Because as a worker, I know the punishment for being absent and even the one for coming late. So I wanted to come yesterday, but I couldn't secure a seat and we had some committee works in the Senate. I didn't want to be absent. So in the end, there was no opportunity. I didn't have the means to be able to make it here. Um, but I was determined to be here. First, because having had the rare privilege of presiding over the affairs of this great state, in fact, the greatest state as a governor, I have every respect, not only for the office of governor, which I had the opportunity to occupy, but even for you, the governor of Edo State. I also thought that for our people, not because I am special, but just because
thought that the world should know that Godwin is my friend. It does not matter. And be friends does not mean we cannot differ. Be friends does not mean we cannot debate. Be friends does not mean we cannot disagree. But be, be friends means we treat each other with care and love and bring our followers together. So I thank you for that invitation and I want to thank the First Lady too. Uh, because as they say, in the past, maybe to the Governor Oyugu's time, he used to be fashionable to say, behind every successful man, there is a woman. But now, I think that slogan has changed. By the side of every successful governor, there is a powerful first lady. Um, I listened very attentively, even as I came late. I didn't have the benefit of what my predecessors said before I came in. But I'm just happy that with all the challenges in Nigeria, I have always said that Nigeria is much more than those challenges. And you have just shared with us your stewardship and your vision. The only thing that we say, which may not excite too many people, but it's a reality, is that once you have acknowledged that your successors come from various political parties, even as we are united in that one shared conviction, very soon, why your party will be nominating its own candidate, my own party will be nominating my own candidate. And uh, why you will emphasize the one you have worked with, we will find something to amplify, to justify our own. And I know that Asa Godaro is smiling more generously now. <laughs> but but you know what excites me as your excellency introduced most of the members of the Alago Daro is I just find that not too many of them are really strangers to me. Beginning with your good self, your excellency, as well Godaro, who was out in Lagos, he told me how he had invested time which was later not rewarded in terms of, uh, when I say reward, don't misunderstand me, not Naira and Kobo, in terms of people try to implement, and I remember promising him that we will be different. And uh, I will not say it more than that, he knows what I mean. And then you measure Ogi, and I said, who is Ogi now? I think he was my commissioner for works. If my memory, you know, as you age, memory can fade. And then um, someone else was introduced as head of service. And I'm like, I think that was a guy who at grade level 14, God used me to promote him to a permanent secretary or a director. Because I saw a young man working in the Ministry of Justice who takes his brief so seriously as if it was private brief. At a time when, in our informal conversation, we were like, should we be inviting or hiring attorney, I mean, a senior advocate from outside? Or should we, uh, you know, encourage the good ones in the Ministry of Justice? He was always winning cases for government. And they said, when you measure him, I'm like, okay. 
And then uh, you mentioned the one that we have lost to Lagos. We lost him completely. And uh, he came to defend me. And I said, yes, you've come to Edu to defend me, but you are hooked. And I changed his name to Omowale. And he has remained here. He's now a senior advocate. So I think that is the way the world is. But I just want people to know that even regardless of what people might say, what we must never do as leaders is not to give the impression as though different opinion translates to war. That is why I thank you for inviting me and I thank you for standing up people to greet me as I came late because when the governor is seated, nobody else is supposed to come in. They should have closed the gate. So I appreciate those courtesies and I really want you to know I do appreciate it. And for all our guests who have come, this is our state and uh, I'm very, very pleased to be here. All of the things you spoke to, I'm not entitled to review them. But one thing I will say, in those days, we both agree. But what the people need is not the tears of leaders joining them to lament. The responsibility of the leader is to address those material conditions that has created hardship for the people. When the leader joins in lamenting, then there is no tomorrow. I'm happy that together we have sustained those visions in the area of education and several other areas. And uh, as you can see, Edo governors there to be strong. When I see Chief Oyegu, I say, I pray that when I get to his age, I will still be as strong. And I just ask Lucky, you are still doing this? I say, yes. I say, you taught me that one. So let me thank each and every one of you. And once again, my brother and friend, Governor Basiki, may God bless you and thank you for your very kind invitation. Thank you very much.